Hi everyone, um, quite a few of you were interested in knowing how I set up my Etsy to sell seamless patterns so I'll just give you a quick demonstration. So this is my shop, um, I'm back my stitch up design, um, that's my shop front, that's what it looks like. If I go up here to shop manager and then to listings, there you can see and edit my listings um, so what I actually usually do is go to settings and then copy from a previous listing because it's already got a lot of the information in there um, but for the purpose of this um, if you were starting from scratch you would go up here and add a new listing so I'm just going to show you one of my listings that I've already created um, so here you can see it starts with the about section so what you want to be doing is um, search engine optimization. So that's what SEO stands for. So basically, all the keywords that you think um, people will find your pattern searching for. So this particular design is a gingerbread dinosaur Christmas themed design. Um, so I've got various search terms in the title, such as Christmas dinosaur seamless pattern tile gingerbread seamless file etc so you want to be maxing out that box there you've got up to 140 characters to use um, scroll down you would then add your images that the customer can see or view um, so I've got the main image there let me click on it so I've got the main image of the tile um, slightly reduced to about 90% just so they can see the entire thing and then it's got my signature across it and um, some people use full watermarks but I found it quite difficult to see the image if it's got a watermark over it it's just personal preference and then I've got a couple of mock-up examples so the way that you add more is just down here so I just click on it and then I would um, just click on extra and upload but I don't want to add any extra right now. So you can crop those images how you want to or delete them. I'm just going to press the cancel for that. So that's your image section. And um, you can add videos as well, but I don't personally add videos. That's how the customers will see it on um, search results. So that's the thumbnail. And then here is where you add the digital files that the customer will be able to download. So um, if I remove that for now, I'll add a file. So add that back into it, upload. So that is literally adding um, the seamless pattern saved as a JPEG in this case. So, and then your description, again, you want to be putting all the keywords in there that will come up in search terms that people will search for so again I've basically just repeated the title um, here and just said what it is so Christmas dinosaur seamless pattern tile on navy blue background um, and then information about it so uh, 300 dpi 8 times 8 inch canvas RGB color mode and then in here I also put my terms conditions um, and what they can and can't do with it and then a bit about copyright. Um, you, you can add personalization onto a listing. So if you wanted to add a personalization, you could say something like, please type yes here if you agree to the terms and conditions, um, just so that people can't deny that they've read it basically. And then price and inventory. The maximum quantity that you could put on Etsy is 999. So basically I always start with 999 and then it just sells and sells and sells. Um, so you can see I've sold 95 of that particular design. Um, I don't do anything with the SKU. Details. Um, so you need to make sure that here it says digital files because if it's not a digital file then you won't be able to attach a digital file for the person to download again 
make sure it's digital. I've put drawing and illustration, digital. Primary colours, um, your width and height there. So subject, just whatever is relevant basically. So I could put religious because it's Christmas based. And then again in your tags, you want to be using all 13 tags. Um, so if possible use phrases, but you've only got a set amount of characters. So you can't actually type much in there. So here I've got keywords like seamless, pattern, digital, Christmas dinosaurs, Christmas seamless gingerbread cookies um, so no returns or exchanges on digital products and then I've put that in my Christmas and winter section uh, you can make your own shop sections if you want to and then Etsy also gives you the option of featuring the listing um, but I'm not personally featuring this listing and renewal options are all my designs are set to automatic renewal because if you don't set them to automatic they will um, expire after three months and that's it you just publish changes so you can preview it so that's what it will look like to customers <laughs> 